before Hershey's became a household name and a global confectionery giant. It was the dream of a young boy who faced immense challenges and struggles. A child of divorce, born into poverty, and raised by a strict aunt, Milton Hershey's childhood was far from easy. But despite the odds, he developed a passion for candy making and innovation that would change the course of his life and the world of chocolate forever. In this captivating journey, we'll explore the early life of Milton Hershey, his struggles, failures, and how his determination led to the creation of an American icon. Milton Hershey was born on September 13, 1857, in the small town of Derry Church, Pennsylvania. He was the only surviving child of Henry and Fanny Hershey, who were of Swiss and German descent. Milton's parents were hardworking, but struggled to make ends meet, and the family moved frequently in search of better opportunities. As a child, Milton had a difficult upbringing. His father was a dreamer who had a hard time holding down a job, and his mother suffered from a chronic illness that made it difficult for her to care for him. When Milton was just six years old, his parents split up, and he was sent to live with a strict Mennonite Aunt Maddie in Lancaster County. Milton struggled in school and was eventually expelled from the fourth grade for misbehavior. Despite his lack of formal education, he had a curious and inventive mind and spent much of his free time tinkering with machines and gadgets. At the age of 14, Milton left his aunt's home to apprentice with a Lancaster confectioner. He quickly developed a passion for candy making and decided to strike out on his own. With a loan from his Aunt Maddie, he opened his first candy shop in Philadelphia at the age of 19. Despite his passion and hard work, Milton's candy shop was not successful, and he was forced to close it after just six years. Undeterred, he continued to work in the candy industry, traveling to Denver, Colorado, to work for a caramel company. It was during his time in Denver that Milton learned about the Swiss technique of milk chocolate making. Inspired by this new method, he returned to Lancaster County and began experimenting with milk chocolate in his own candy making business. Milton's early struggles taught him valuable lessons about perseverance and hard work and set the stage for the success that was to come. But what inspired him to create the iconic chocolate brand we know and love today? After several failed business ventures, he found success in the world of confectionery with the Lancaster Caramel Company in 1886. His caramel was a hit, but Milton was always looking for new ideas and opportunities. In 1893, Milton attended the Chicago World's Fair and was captivated by a new invention, the chocolate making machine. He knew immediately that he wanted to bring this technology back to Lancaster and start making chocolate himself. With his sights set on chocolate, Milton sold his caramel company and founded the Hershey Chocolate Company in 1894. But the path to success was not easy. At first, his chocolate was a flop, with customers complaining of a bitter taste. Undeterred, Milton set out on a quest to find the perfect blend of milk and cocoa. He traveled to Europe to learn from the best chocolatiers, studying their techniques and ingredients. When he returned to the United States, he began experimenting with different blends, eventually creating the recipe for Hershey's milk chocolate. It was a hit, and soon the company was producing chocolate bars, kisses, and other treats. But Milton's ambition didn't stop there. He wanted to create a chocolate empire, and he knew he needed a larger factory and a more reliable source of milk. He decided to build a factory in his hometown of Derry Township, Pennsylvania, and also created a company town, which he named Hershey. The town was designed with the needs of the workers in mind, featuring affordable housing, schools, churches, and recreational facilities. Milton believed that happy workers were productive workers, and he wanted his employees to have a high quality of life. As Milton Hershey's chocolate business continued to grow, so did his ambition. But how he expanded his company and created new innovations that would change the world of chocolate forever. As Hershey's chocolate grew in popularity, Milton Hershey continued to innovate and create new products. In 1907, the company introduced the Hershey's Kiss, a small, bite-sized piece of milk chocolate that quickly became a fan favorite. 
1926, Hershey's introduced the Crackle Bar, which featured crispy rice pieces mixed with chocolate. This was followed by the Mr. Good Bar, which contained peanuts and milk chocolate, and the Hershey's Special Dark Bar, which was made with a higher percentage of cocoa. But Milton Hershey's most significant innovation was the creation of the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup in 1928. The product was an immediate hit, and the candy quickly became one of the most popular treats in the Hershey's lineup. Hershey's also expanded its reach beyond the United States, opening a factory in Canada in 1963 and acquiring companies in Mexico and Brazil in the 1970s. The company's success continued to grow, and Hershey's chocolate became a household name across the globe. But Hershey's wasn't just focused on expanding its product line and global reach. The company was also committed to making a positive impact on the world. During World War II, Hershey's produced ration bars for soldiers, which provided a source of sustenance for troops on the front lines. In the 1950s and 60s, Hershey's expanded its philanthropic efforts, creating the Hershey Foundation and funding medical research. The company also continued to support the Milton Hershey School, which still provides free education and housing to children from low-income families. As Hershey's entered the modern era, the company faced new challenges and opportunities. In the 1990s, Hershey's began to focus on diversifying its product line, introducing new candies like Jolly Ranchers and Icebreakers. The company also acquired the American rights to Cadbury chocolates, giving Hershey's even greater market share in the confectionery industry. But with this growth came new challenges. In the early 2000s, Hershey's faced accusations of using child labor in its cocoa supply chain. The company quickly responded, implementing a program to ensure that its cocoa was sourced responsibly and sustainably. Hershey's also partnered with organizations like the World Cocoa Foundation to support cocoa farmers and their families. Another challenge came in 2002, when the Hershey Trust Company attempted to sell the Hershey Company to a rival chocolate maker. The proposed sale was met with widespread opposition from Hershey's employees, the community of Hershey, and chocolate lovers around the world. In the end, the sale was canceled, and Hershey's remained an independent company. In recent years, Hershey's has continued to innovate, introducing new products like Reese's Pieces and Hershey's Cookie Layer Crunch. The company has also increased its focus on sustainability committing to using 100% sustainable cocoa by 2025 and reducing its environmental impact through initiatives like renewable energy and waste reduction. But Hershey's faces new challenges in the digital age, as consumers increasingly turn to e-commerce and online shopping. The company has responded by investing in e-commerce platforms and creating new digital experiences for customers.